no, this is not absolutely like a flu. Whoever said that they, they just lied. I mean, you can compare this to, I mean, if someone has a flu and you are in touch with them for such a long time, I mean, like, you know, if, if they uh, sneeze in your face or you are in contact with them, you get the flu, okay? But after resting for three days, you're fine. And you, you are not likely to get that, you know, the flu is not that viral, but this virus is super viral. I mean, for example, if I got the coronavirus and if I touch a table and for the next two days, you come to that table and you see it exactly, exactly where I sat before and you touch the table, you're definitely going to have it. If, I mean, not, not by just touching, but if you touch it and then touch your mouth, your nose or your eyes, you're definitely going to get that because the virus can stay alive on any cold surface for 48 hours. That's for sure. So it's like nothing can kill it. It's very tough viral one. And you cannot say that, okay, it only causes death for younger ones or the older ones and the ones who don't have any problems and good healthy immune system, they survive. No, this is not real. We lost already two nurses and so many doctors. They, they died because of working with these patients, even though that they had all the protection equipments. I mean, the virus can even pass through the N95 mask too. They absolutely get infected and they become sick again. And, you know, they, the body is weaker because they just healed. So it can be dangerous and uh, they, they can even die if they get it for the second time. So no, I, I wouldn't compare this to flu, even though that the symptoms are pretty similar, but uh, there are so much difference about these two. I mean, they say that the death rate is um, only 2%, but that's for China. In Iran, it's close to 